Rhino conservation programs out at the wilds are wildly successful, and the breeding program is one of the most successful in North America. The herd boasts fifth generation rhino born at the wilds, and while many factors lead to their success, the space and the family groupings are two of the top reasons. Our first calf was born in 2004, and right now we're around 30 calves. A point of pride for animal management specialist Cody Seplow. We keep them in a natural social group in hundreds of acres. Um, every rhino out in this field behind me was born here and raised here. Their mothers raised them and then their mother produced their younger sibling next to them and so they got to learn how to treat a baby and learn how to be good parents. There's also the flexibility with rotating male rhinos. So we bring in a new male every few years. That gives some novelty for the girls because it seems like they might get a little bored of the same guy over and over again. Um, we also think it's part of the diet as well, being kept on natural grass for a good portion of the year. In a smaller situation, they would have this grass buzz down to where we're having to supplement them more with um, a grain or a hay more frequently. Whereas here, there's a good portion of the year where we don't really have to supplement them all and they can kind of take care of themselves. Yeah, when people hear how successful the mm -hmm. breeding program here is, they're always like, what? Yeah. We <laughs> what do you two, mean? We average two babies a year. So it keeps me busy. Yeah. Yep. And as we found out, white rhinos are very social. They see people and they want to interact with you. Like, hey, you want to feed me? You want to pet me? Yeah. And so it's real rewarding for them and it's real rewarding for us because we're able to have this close relationship with them so we can um, we learn more about them and take care of them properly. Oh my goodness. You coming to check us out? Like this is a 150 acre pasture and they made a beeline for us. Due to threats in their natural environment, the majority of rhinos are staying in programs like we have here at the wilds. Rhinos are highly endangered. Um, they face heavy poaching threats in Africa and Asia. And so um, there's a lot of questions on whether or not rhinos should be returning to their natural environment, whether or not that's safe for them. And so we're working on creating a, um, a sustainable population here as a, um, an ark, as a resource in case rhinos completely disappear from their native ranges, which at the rate poaching is happening is actually a very real possibility. And you know, that reality is so heartbreaking. And when you go out to the wilds and you're up close with these truly gentle giants mm -hmm. and you just see how majestic they are and how much they love people, mm -hmm. breaks your heart even a, a oh, little bit more. Absolutely, that they can't be in their natural right. habitat. Thankfully, there is what's happening yeah. at the wilds that yeah. make sure they're Great staying. Program. Uh, obviously, that exactly. breeding is a big deal. But man, it's a beautiful animal. It, it really yeah. is. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can go out to the wilds and you take these tours, mm -hmm. uh, like that wild side tour, yeah. and you can actually go out there and get up close with them. You can take tours in the winter and the barns and really see them, see some of the babies. Yeah. I mean, it's just an incredible opportunity that we have here yeah. to be able to go to the wilds. Exactly. It's more appreciation for their Truly. beauty and their majesty. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah.